Are you ready to ditch the gas? Hey guys, Josh with Carl's Mower and Saw, and today we're gonna to look at the two steel KMA battery-powered power heads. There's actually a third one that we don't stock, so I shouldn't ignore that one, but we're gonna to focus today on the KMA 135 or the KMA 80 battery-powered power head. And there's one massive difference as you start looking at it, and it's gonna come down to the battery. The KMA 80 is the AK series, and AK we'll say is consumer. I don't know why you would spell consumer with a K, but we're doing it today. And the AP, the Pro series, and that's what the KMA 135 is going to run. So first thing as we get into the steel battery world is to figure out what, what battery we wanna live with, what tools, what other machines we're gonna to wanna to run off this battery. If I'm running heavier stuff, more, you know, maybe bigger chainsaws, you wanna have bigger powered blowers, you want to have a bigger powered string trimmer or hedge trimmer, then, then dial into the P series. If you're just doing some lightweight work, this AK series will be just fine for you. Here we go. The AP300S is what we're going to run in the KMA135. This is coming in at 7.2 amp hours. It's a 36 volt, 7.2 amp hour battery and has what Steel has found in testing to have 1500 charge cycle battery life. So this is a super long battery life. You should have this for years and years and years. And then we've got the AK30. This is a 4.8 amp hour, right? So a little bit smaller, actually quite significantly smaller. It is a little lighter. And this is a 500 charge cycle battery. Again, a lot. So if I use this thing, say two times a week, I deplete the battery and I do it 35 times a year, 70. So really, I mean, we're talking eight years, maybe roughly of use out of this battery. So a lot of life out of this battery also. And that battery is gonna pop right in here. Now when we're getting into power, the KMA 135 is really equivalent to a KM 111 uh, gasoline power power head, which is around 1.4 horsepower. So they're saying about a 1.4, 1.5 horsepower equivalent. And then with our KMA 80, we're talking about this thing being equivalent to uh, KM 56, or if they made it, uh, a KM70, an FS70, so about 1.1 horsepower. So a little less horsepower, um, but still able to run a full line of steel combi attachments, whether that be the line head or an edger or a hedge trimmer or a pole saw. You will not run the bed redefiner off this well. You will not run a, a broom well off this. So just kind of look at your future scope need. Weight wise, the KMA 135 will come in a little bit higher weight and that's really because of the battery that it's able to run. Um, we also have a little bit better air filtration system, something to keep the motor running cleaner longer on the KMA 135. But when you go to the KMA 80, you have a few cool things like a quick adjust uh, straps locate, you know, your shoulder strap, I can move that really easily up and down. And I can also with a flip move my handle up and down. So a little bit more quick customizable versus getting the tool out, loosening a Torx really. Again, this is focused for the consumer operator, focus for the commercial operator. Check it out, the Steel KMA 80, the Steel KMA 135. Stop by Carl's Mower and Saw. Let's put one in your hand. Let's see what feels best for your property. We look forward to seeing you soon.